I spend a lot of time in Montreal. It really is, together with Copenhagen and Barcelona, one of my favorite places on the planet, a home away from home. But I still have a problem putting my finger on what makes this city so great. There's no place like Montreal. It is uniquely wonderful in, a, in its own way. We visited the city twice now, and I can't believe we haven't visited more often. This city is very well known by all of our team members for being a great city to come to. I think everybody has their different reasons for that. Here, the people take great pleasure in really enjoying the fine details, from food, fashion, to music. You have great architecture, a great mixing of people from all different backgrounds. A big mountain in the middle of an island, in the middle of the river. Mont Royal. It's the best city, I think, in the whole world. It's beautiful. Montreal is so f***ing beautiful, bro. It's just, it's like so different here. Montreal is very special. I said to uh, a friend of mine that I could see myself living here. I love this city. I really need to live in Montreal. I don't know if Jessica wants to stay in Ottawa or ever live in Montreal. <laughs> she said, of course I'm gonna live here. She said it with strength. I love Montreal. It is my favorite place in Canada. Toronto, Vancouver, I love you, but not like Montreal. I'm sitting here in Montreal with my friend Arthur, who's decided to move here from Toronto. I love this city. I, every time I come here, I just have so much fun. I really do feel that Montrealers have kind of a flair for life. I picked up some of that energy with me when I was living here. I've been fortunate enough to be able to travel all over the world, and Montreal, Quebec, Canada is still at the top of my list. My fiance and I try to visit at least two times per year. Montreal is so easy to love. When people come to visit me from around the world, you can just see, they're like, this place is so nice, you know, it's such a nice city. Most other places have just got nothing on it. I don't know how to say it any other way. In North America, a lot of cities are new, so they don't have beautiful old architecture or the history to them. I love this area down here. All the old buildings, the architecture is, is beautiful. Make sure you take some time out to stroll through old Montreal. It has an authentic European feel. This part of the city is one of the oldest in North America considered one of the most beautiful and scenic cities in the world. It just has this really cool vibe. It feels like the 17th century or something. Hi. Hi. How are you? Discovery Montreal. It's Me great. Me too. It's a great city. Where are you from? I'm from Paris. Oh my gosh, I'm from the U.S. Philly. Oh, great. great nice. Great. I'm coming to Paris in October. You, you should call me when you're back there. Yes, let me get your number. A little bit more ahead comes this place, which I'm completely obsessed with. Montreal is always special to me because when Harsha and I visited for the first time, it was as soon as we committed. Now we got married and again, as soon as we got married, we visited Montreal. Montreal always has some special place in my heart. There's so much about the city we both love. We really enjoy the ambiance here. We love the neighborhoods. We love being able to hike up to Mount Royal. We love the botanical garden. We love the old port. Uh, we love the river and that you can swim in the St. Lawrence River. One of the reasons I absolutely love this city is because of the artwork and the fact it's such an artsy city. There's so much culture in terms of art and music and creativity. There's a lot of those characters in this city. Montréal has given us so much magic. Cirque du Soleil, Leonard Cohen, Arcade Fire. I really didn't know anything about Montreal before I moved here. I didn't know anything about Canada. I moved here in the winter. Culturally, it kind of had everything that I thought New York was going to have, but Montreal actually had the stuff that I thought New York was going to have. Weird dance shows and there'd be a band playing in someone's loft, play records and dance afterwards. The kind of vibrancy of culture in Montreal I found so profound. I just want to say thank you, merci to, to Montreal for taking us and giving us a home, a place to be in a band. I was raised in swinging Montreal. Where? Beautiful Montreal. Back then, a whirlwind of vice, corruption, and debauchery. I loved every minute of it. But what really made it swing was the presence of our two cultures and the astonishing amount of talent that they spawned. She's making her first appearance here on American television tonight. Her name is Celine Dion, and uh, you'll hear a lot more from her. Montreal is one of the prettiest cities in the world. And yeah, very pretty. And your music is all over there all the time on TV, and it's, it's nice to have you here. I'm very proud to be part of this show, really. I'm excited that you're on this show first, because I'm sure you're going to be I'm a huge excited. star, and you can say, me and you, we have it first, so that's great. <laughs> It's like the greatest city in the world, Isn't Montreal. It That's where I'm from. Montreal. Montreal. Do you speak French? Oh, c'est bien. Oui, je parle français. Avec un accent canadien, je suis canadien. Oui.
Le moment de gloire pour moi, vraiment. By no means is this the end. The curtain has not yet fallen. It's simply stuck. You're, you're filming in Montreal right now. You're yes. filming a movie. Montreal's a great city, very French. Yes, it is very French. Uh, so I'm, I'm trying to get better at French. What do you have so far? Bonjour. <laughs> you shoot Helix in Montreal. Do you get a chance to head out and enjoy that amazing city? I, I'm so in love with Montreal and, and with Canada in general, but it's an amazing city. It may now be my favorite city in the world. Nice. There you go. Well, Rosie and I grew up I there, know. so yeah. we're, we're, we're a little there. impartial to it. Yeah. Just love it. It's yeah. a really, really special place. Whenever I get asked why you're always going to Montreal, I say it's it's not only the food, it's the crews. They're, they're incredible here. I, the crew was the best I've ever worked with, the most fun I've ever worked with. I grew up in Montreal. I'd love to know your fondest memories of, of shooting there and, and oh, just living there. Many oh, more, uh, many memories. I'm about to do another movie in Montreal. I like Fantastic. to think that I summer in Montreal. Okay. Oshiaga last summer was one of the best festivals I've ever been to. Probably saw more live music last summer than yeah. I've my entire life yeah. combined in Montreal. It's a great art city. It really it's is. a great yes. time. I like Montreal. Do you like Montreal? Montreal's amazing. Oh, what yeah. a place, oh, man. I know, too much fun. Too much yeah, fun. Yeah. It's got the best restaurants, you know, the richest foods, you know, great mm. chefs. That's not Peanuts all they have in Montreal, though, yeah, is it? No, I wouldn't know. I was yeah. too busy working. <laughs> Montreal is definitely less conservative and more relaxed than most North American cities. It has a bit of a reputation for how many adult businesses they have, but hey, that's just all part of what gives Montreal its charm. Montreal? That place is the best. Oh, I always wanted to go to Canada. You guys should come with me sometime. Montreal has the best strip clubs in the world. They do? Yeah, they're unbelievable. I, I, don't, I haven't been to Montreal in a while, man. I need to get back up there. Yeah, the women are beautiful there, man. It's an amazing place. It's an amazing place. Everyone is beautiful. Everyone makes me feel ugly. The most spectacular thing in Montreal is possibly the quality of the people on the street. I don't mean to objectify people, but everyone in Montreal is really hot. Well, they're, they're Parisian. I mean, isn't it uh, what Louis XIV called the fille de roi? He decided there was too many saucy broads in Paris, and he sent anyone with any kind of gumption and sassafras down to Quebec. I went to Montreal. Mm -hmm. First time to Montreal. all those years of covering games, yeah. you never went to like... I never got the Ubisoft trips up wow. there. You like it? I love it. It's amazing. It's a great city, right? Yeah, beautiful. And beautiful too. people. Beautiful it's people amazing. indeed. A hundred percent. No. Beautiful. I've never met anybody from Montreal that's not gorgeous. There's a lot of things we love about Montreal, but one of the things that I think we both really appreciate is, uh, is what people here. We've met some wonderful people, and we have some great friends. And uh, when it comes down to it, that's what it's all about. The people who live there are tough, crazy bastards, and I admire them for it. I was really worried because of the French speaking. I, I didn't think anyone would understand us, but literally everyone is completely bilingual. It's they, so nice. And everyone's just so nice, yeah. Some of the nice, really, really super nice people. People here in Montreal are so, so sweet. Since morning, I started walking and everybody's just giving me smiles and like I'm loving it so much. I only wish that if I had more days to stay in Montreal. The people here are really, really friendly. Everyone wants to help you out, especially if you have a British accent, you get special treatment, I found. I think that I would never say this enough, but people are so freaking kind. Like, it's amazing how they're kind. I think it's partly the attitude here. It's just Montrealers have a very relaxed attitude and just open-minded. People in Quebec often have this thing where, like, we've got this f***ing attitude, you know? We're not like the other Canadians because of that. People in Quebec are very, very distinct from Canadians, but they do share the attribute that I like the most about Canadians, of being actually very civil, very nice people. They think it's the best attribute of a country, actually. One thing I really love about Montreal as well, the fact that it feels like London in many ways. That's where I'm originally from. London is an extremely multicultural and diverse city. And Montreal is exactly the same. And also in terms of inclusivity, so there's a massive gay village area. I feel accepted here. I think everyone, regardless of background or culture, can fit in in Montreal. Good city for the immigrants. You have everything to Montreal. Black people, uh -huh. Chinese people, everybody. Right. everybody. Right. Are there a lot of black people in Montreal? Yeah, too, too many. Too many. Okay. Too many black people. <laughs> Montreal has a really strong sense of community, and I honestly never thought I would notice that about a city enough to point it out in a video. Oh. 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 
So you like Montreal? It's it's, it's fun place. Yeah, we just moved here actually okay. from Newfoundland. Okay. I'm from India. <laughs> you see, this is the vibe of Montreal. Montreal yes. Even if you don't know anyone, we are talking in Punjabi, and they found us. I am at Jardin Gamelin, a salsa night that happens in the middle of Montreal. That is so cool. That's pretty awesome, Montreal. There's this amazing confluence of French, African, and Haitian, and European culture, and the kind of crazy melting pot of the whole thing. Millions of people come and visit this place all the time, but it feels strangely unspoiled and unexploited. It's always a surprise. Montreal is probably the best kept secret. After like 400 years, we kept our culture, our tradition. We have our own kind of food. We have our kind of joie de vivre. We talk to everyone on the street. We like people. We're moving to Montreal. It's so beautiful. All the architecture is gorgeous. Like every building is stunning. Yeah, I, it's beautiful here. Yeah, that's like, for damn sure. I don't care what anybody says. Like I've never been to a city that's like this in the morning. It's the second day and we're actually loving it. So we might be moved. We <laughs> might move here. I would literally move here if I could. Today is the last day. Are you excited, son? No, I don't want to leave. I've been having such a great time here and I don't want to leave. It's been so good. I'm coming back here again. Yeah. Three days is not going to be enough. We're on our way home. It's okay, we're going to come back to Montreal. We're on our way back to Nueva York. I love Montreal. I'm. Oh. Oh. Tell us, tell us how you feel. I love this city. It's awesome, it's beautiful. It's such a beautiful city, great food. Beautiful people, love it here, absolutely love it here. It was this place that I expected to just have a casual time in and it turned out to be this wonderful place that I can't and I'm dying to go back to. Oh my goodness, I love this city, I'm so sad to go. It's also a great city to come home to. I've been living in Montreal for 30 years. Whenever I travel, I love coming back to the city. We're lucky to have it so close by here in Vermont. For us, we're halfway between Montreal and Boston and it's an easy choice, sorry Boston, but. <laughs> the difference that there is just across the border it's just super, super like charming. Montreal has officially charmed its way into my heart. Its elegant yet sincere character is something you just want to experience again and again. When you're in Montreal, you don't feel you are in it and did not. I feel like I'm in Europe. If you want to travel around the world, you stay in Montreal and you can feel like you're in another city right away. Certain things in life you can't explain. You just have to have that experience. Montreal, I love you. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I just think it's really obvious why Montreal's great. The only thing that sucks is the weather. <laughs> but not today. I had a wonderful journey again this time. Already grown-up commitments are starting to compete with a possible return. I can't wait to come back. There is no city like Montreal. See you next time. Hopefully next year. Oh, you know we're coming back next year. <laughs> I don't want to leave this city. I swear, I could live here when I'm older. But you have the black man. Montreal is not the biggest, not the richest, but that is not the point. It's one of the best cities to live in, in the whole entire world. We met uh, making a movie. I was producing. I was charged with keeping an eye on him. Yes, it was called Gothica. <laughs> the problem was it was shooting in the very sexy <laughs> Montreal. How could you not? Dip your pen in company. Hey, hey, hey now, hey sorry. now. <laughs>